Here's the answer to a question you might have been too afraid to ask. What are modes? Very, very broad topic that seems to be confusing everyone for no apparent reason. There are two ways to look at modes. One way is you can think of it from a scalar perspective. You can think, okay, here's my C major scale, right? And one day someone came along and said, play that exact same scale, all the notes from that scale, but start on the second as opposed to the first note. So instead of starting here, I'm gonna start here. And now someone said, cool, you're just playing C major scale starting on the second note. But then someone else said, well, I don't wanna think of it like that. I wanna think of it as I'm now starting on D. Yes, I'm using the same notes from the C major scale, but I'm starting on D. So I wanna call this D something. It's a D scale now. Well, you can either think of this as, okay, it's just C major scale starting on the second degree, or you can listen to this guy who calls this scale Dorian. It's just the way it is, it's a Dorian scale. Um, there's a really easy way to remember the order of the modes. It's I don't particularly like modes a lot. That stands for Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. I don't particularly like modes a lot. Really cool acronym for it. Um, or the other way to think about modes is you can just memorize the scale formula for any particular mode. So for example, Mixolydian is just a major scale with a lowered seventh. So if I want to play G Mixolydian, I play my G major scale, but I'm going to lower that seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one. Or I can go back to that first way of thinking. I say G is the fifth mode. So it's the fifth of what scale? That's for you to find out on my website, thedonutdoctormusic.com, where I have full length lessons just like this and so much more to offer there. Uh, I'll see you there. Link is in my bio.